if it was something that you would enjoy doing, you wouldn't have any hesitation or reservation to doing that thing. Skydiving, skiing, a bike ride, or something, for going out to your favorite restaurant, you wouldn't have any hesitation if that was something fun to do. I look at sales as a challenge, as a fun thing. It's like a sport to me. To get on the phone with another person and persuade or convert them is a million dollar skill. If it's the only thing you guys take away from, from, from this uh, topic today, is that if you can get on the phone with enough people, have these adult to adult conversations or practice role plays, you cannot help but make money, get contracts, do deals. You cannot help but Claude, it. But Claude, I, have, I have this manual that has like a hundred scripts and all my objections. Watch your, lang watch your language. This is Burn a it. You know what? <laughs> I hate that word scripts. Burn it. That was, that was sarcastic. I oh, wasn't Dave, serious. Howard, but, but what are, I'm just reaching out to you today. Uh, how are you feeling? I, can I have three minutes of your time, please? That's just one of like a hundred of them. Oh, God. <laughs> I have everything I need. Why do I have to role play? Why am I so prejudiced against scripts? Because the prospect can knock you off guard very quickly if you're reading a script. You have to be a very good actor to do scripts, and you got to hope that they play along with your scripts. You're anticipating what their mind is. You don't. You can't read. I know one thing. You can't. The only person in the world that can read minds is my wife. It's so scary. Okay, it's, <laughs> Mrs. Kreskin. Yeah, it's, yeah I'm, 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 telling you, I'm telling you, she knows, man. And the thing about it is, if you assume you can read, you can make certain assumptions. But isn't it better? to be the psychologist or the doctor in the room and, and find out what their needs are, the specific time frame, the money available, the urgency, the motivation. Isn't it better to get that, write it down, and then, and then in, insert it, blend it into, into your questions and get a commitment rather than reading a one-sided script? I think scripts make you dependent on them. I'd rather you are in a more of a free form type of selling. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, I think they also hinder your ability to listen effectively. Uh, yeah, I'll agree with that. Yeah. And I think you got to think on your feet. Go ahead, Myra. I just said that. <laughs> then to think on your feet, it hinders that ability. Yeah. Sometimes you got to. You sometimes you've got to be spontaneous, mm -hmm. and you and you know, and hoping. I'm hoping if we practice enough. You role play enough. You make enough phone calls every day. Speak to five people a day. Right. Sooner or later, you're going to become so comfortable on the phone and talking to people. Because when, my, my word of honor, you can ask Claudia. I was the shy. When we were kids, I was the shyest guy in the world. But after a while, you, you get better and better at something if you work at it hard enough. Every, I work at sales every day. And even if someone rejects you or gets hard at you, it gets tough on you. That's can you turn, maybe you can turn that into fun and you reject them. You say, hey, Mr. M I had one guy who just was all over me. Arr! And I said, sir, you sound like you're mad at me. Did I make a, a pass at your wife at last year's Christmas party? You know, <laughs> and he started laughing. What happens when a prospect laughs? Hard goes down. Losses. It changes, the endorphins go through it. Is it change, when you make someone smile, is that closer to getting towards likability and trust and persuasion? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you always have a ready quip or a joke or something ready. You don't have to let them beat you up all day long. Claudia, I, I love that whole line uh, because when she said, why should I work with you, right? You immediately, your instinct is to start to, you know, qualify yourself and tell them how great you are and how quickly you're going to close and how you're going to have and to have just turn around and say, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> they don't know how to off guard. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes when you say these little moves, there, there's this, you can hear the crickets, okay? There's that pregnant pause, as they say, because they don't know how to respond to it. You've been practicing. They don't have a script book that says, oh shit, what do I, what do I, what do I say when he says, I'm, I'm not allowed to think about it or, um, um, <laughs> You can't do that. Absolutely. Let's see. We have any more qu uh, questions here? Um, ch ch 